Thanks for staying with us. So let's take a look at the very latest in the world of business. So 30 executives from the financial services sector last week met with the Deputy Finance Minister David Masondo to advocate for sustainable economic transformation. Our business reporter, Wandiswa Ndengeto, has more. Traditional asset management, in particular the mutual fund industry, is expanding aggressively across Africa. A PwC report says 12 markets across Africa will rise to around 1 billion US dollars this year. However, in markets like South Africa, the sector faces barriers to growth. And for as long as those monopolies and oligopolies continue to exist in South Africa, they're going to regulate the flow of funds and assets into very specific businesses. And I think what we need to do some real introspection on is how do we use the investments and savings of our countrymen and women to invest strategically into economies like our black township economies. In the country's road to economic recovery, experts say one of the keys is through addressing systematic challenges relating to the inclusion of black managers. If we look at the, the, the pension funds industry specifically, representing just over four trillion rand in the financial um, sector, um, there's barely 600 billion rand uh, or 690 billion rand that is represented by black asset managers. And, and they certainly need to see, um, you know, have a, um, a larger uh, piece of the pie. Um, and the reason why this is important is that black business is emotionally invested in black business in the country. Um, you know, we, we cannot be expecting global businesses to be investing in ta township economies. In ensuring that the asset management sector is transformed, experts believe that a lot more has to be done in order to level the playing field. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I am Wandi Swandengendo in Johannesburg.